Hey, what's going on guys? This is Joe from Fandroid and Android O is official and we've got the developer preview loaded up here on the Nexus 5X. Now there are going to be some things on the 5X that are different than the Pixel. There are a few things that are basically exclusive to the Pixel for now, um, but I can show you most of the new features here on the 5X. So let's get started. <laughs> So we're gonna start things off in the settings app, which has been reorganized and redesigned once again. So you'll notice that it's much shorter now. They've condensed things down a lot. So you have like apps and notifications are now together. And then instead of like an about phone, there's just a simple system. And if you go into these, it's the things that you would expect to see, um, but it's just been condensed down. So we'll go into system here and you can see Android O is right there. And of course we can tap on that a bunch of times and here's the new Android O logo. Maybe this is gonna be orange to coal. I don't know, probably Oreo, we'll see. The notification shade is slightly different. Uh, so you'll notice that in just one single pull down now, you can see the battery percentage is displayed along with the Wi-Fi. Um, before you had to pull down twice to see that information. And now when we pull down twice, we see the toggles. Um, there's lines under the ones that have like extra um, information if you tap, so you can do that. Um, but otherwise, these are pretty much the same thing. You have the system UI tuner. Once again, you can hold down the settings to do that. And I'll show you that in a second because there's some cool things there. Um, but this is the notification shade, which has not changed a ton. Now, one thing you will notice is that if you pull down to expand, um, the notifications that are there, they show up in these smaller icons in the bottom just to show that you do have notifications down there. Now, the big thing with notifications is snoozing notifications, which is something we've been talking about for a long time, and you can finally do it. So when you have a notification, all you do is slide to the right. Oops, a little bit too far. Don't remove it. Slide. And now there's a little clock icon. So if I tap that, it's going to do 15 minutes. If I tap it again, I have options for 30 minutes, an hour, or I can turn that off. And it basically works like, you know, inbox emails when you snooze those. So it's pretty cool. Another new thing with notifications is category. So here's a weather notification from the Google Weather app. If I long press this, you can see there's miscellaneous here, one of two categories from this app. And basically what this is, is an app can now change categories of notifications. So maybe uh, the Google app sends weather notifications and news notifications. I could change how those categories are displayed. So if I go into the miscellaneous category here, we've got all these different options for settings. And if I go into the other miscellaneous category, I have options here as well. So I can change how these categories display notifications. Now, like I mentioned, this is the Nexus 5X, but I do have the Pixel Launcher. This is the newest version. And so you can actually just swipe up anywhere now to pull up the app drawer. I don't have to pull up down here. You can pull up way up here and it still works. And the icons turn to black when you have that open which is nice because they're a lot more easy to see. Notifications on the ambient display look a little different now too. So when they pop up, you can just double tap and it's gonna go straight there. There's a new files app that replaces the downloads app and basically just does the same sort of thing. It's a, like a little mini file explorer um, where you can find your downloads and other stuff stored on your phone. We dive back into the settings and we go to apps and notifications. There's special access, and this is where you're gonna find picture in picture mode, which is new. You can see the apps that use it. Unfortunately, it's not really working right now on YouTube, so uh, we'll have to catch up on that again later when they enable it. But when they do have it working, it should allow you to watch videos over any other app that you wanna be using. Now I mentioned that there are some new things in the system UI tuner, which are pretty cool. So first we'll start with the navigation bar. You can change the layout to compact, which you can see condensed it a little bit. Left leaning or right leaning, depending on what hand you use, if that's something that you care about. There's an extra button on the left and right that you can put things like a clipboard, which doesn't actually work right now. Uh, keyboard switcher, things like that. These don't really work that well, but you can do it on the left or right side. So it's kind of cool that they're adding some customization to that. Also on the lock screen, you can choose what the left and right shortcut do. And basically it just gives you a bunch of shortcut options. So like launch messages, uh, launch a new conversation, um, all these like in-app shortcuts that you can have access to now from your lock screen. 
Now that was just a quick look at some of the things that you'll notice on the surface, but there are of course a lot of other things going on in the background. There are some battery improvements as always. Uh, there's a new thing called adaptive icons, which let developers make icons that can change. And a lot of behind the scenes stuff that you're not going to notice um, when you first install it. But check out fandroid.com. We have a post of all those goodies that you can look forward to. We also have a guide for how you can install this on your Nexus or your Pixel. But until next time, like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Fandroid for more videos, and we'll see you then.